bagpipes that I hear echoes of a day when against evil the world's good held sway. On Ocracoke and Hatteras we will proudly stand and honor these brave souls away from their homeland. Thank you for joining us here today to honor the crew of the British merchant vessel HMT Bedfordshire, which was torpedoed off these shores in 1942 while defending U.S. shipping lanes during World War II. In partnership with the Friends of the Graveyard Atlantic Museum, the Graveyard Atlantic Museum, and along with our British and Canadian allies, the United States Coast Guard is privileged to continue the tradition of recognizing our fallen brethren of the sea. Their honorable service to their home country and to the United States shall forever be a reminder of the great courage and sacrifice required to defend freedom and our way of life. I'm uh, Commander Stu Thompson. I'm the Assistant Canadian Forces Naval Attaché, uh, currently serving at the Canadian Embassy in Washington, D.C. The, uh, the Canadian Navy and the Royal Navy joined uh, the U.S. Coast Guard uh, and the locals today uh, in a commemoration of, uh, in remembrance of the uh, His Majesty's trawler Bedfordshire, which was uh, torpedoed off these shores in uh, May 1942. And all hands were lost, including uh, five Canadians that were part of the, uh, the Royal Navy crew of that vessel. And so we're here to remember and to pay tribute to those uh, lost sailors. Gracious God, creator of wind and wave, of storm and calm, we give you thanks for the blessings of liberty and of freedom as we pause to remember the courage and sacrifice of these sailors that we honor here today. The, these ceremonies commemorate the lives of those sailors who were lost in the trawler Bedfordshire and the oiler Delfino, which were sunk during the Second World War. It's very important that we commemorate these people because what they achieved during their time and the sacrifice they gave ensured that we maintained our freedom from tyranny from Nazi Germany. It allowed us to maintain the sea lines of communication between the United States and the United Kingdom and then ultimately take on the Germans in Europe and defeat them after D-Day in 1945. Ocracoke has always been the primary cemetery because of the uh, tremendous story that's behind the Ocracoke war graves here with the HMT Bedfordshire. There is a, one in Buxton as well, which had always been kind of flying under the radar, but as these uh, ceremonies began to develop, it became important to incorporate the uh, British and Canadian cemetery there in Buxton as well. During the 1940s, only the landmark events were ever reported in the media. If you heard of the Bedfordshire or other events that unfolded right here off our coast in the early days of World War II, if you remember the sacrifices of our British and Canadian friends as they protected our shores and shipping lanes as we struggled to mobilize our own naval forces. But the people of Ocracoke Island remember, the United States Coast Guard remembers, and our British and Canadian allies remember. After 68 years, we remember and honor the sacrifices made by these brave so sailors through this annual memorial service. Well, uh, you know, when, the, uh, when World War II broke out and uh, the German uh, submarines started uh, preying on the, uh, the merchant vessels, uh, you know, the U.S. had never uh, really uh, dealt with a threat like that before. And the, uh, the Canadian and uh, British uh, sailors had uh, several years uh, during World War I and uh, since they were involved in uh, World War II uh, sooner than we were, uh, you know, it was just vital uh, to rely on their experience to, to get us uh, through until the U.S. naval forces were able to stand up and uh, have a, a strong deterrent against the, uh, the German subs. Uh, it's, it's a great privilege to be down here, and particular to see the care and attention that's lavished on this beautiful site, the way it's looked after by the U.S. Coast Guard and indeed by the local people of Ocracoke and up in Buxton. It really is a testament to their passion and their care and their remembrance of those people who died and certainly as far as the United Kingdom is concerned and the Royal Navy we're extremely grateful for this.
Aim! Fire! Ready! Aim! Fire!